Looking for something to do in Tucson, Arizona, but not sure where to start? Tucson has some amazing museums all over the city, some indoors, some outdoors. Some are geared toward children, some are geared toward adults, but most are fun for all ages. Hey guys, what's up? It's Kimberly here, your go-to real estate agent in Tucson, Arizona, and today I'm letting you know some of my favorite museums in the city. Smash the like button if you have a favorite museum in Tucson, and let me know in the comments section what it is. Don't forget to contact me when you buy or sell a home in Tucson and subscribe to this channel for more videos about Tucson and the surrounding areas. Now here's my countdown list of my absolute favorite Tucson museums. Number eight, the International Wildlife Museum. This museum is in a castle. Yeah, that's right, the building is a castle. Well, technically, I guess it was built to look like a fort, but everyone in Tucson calls it the castle. Inside the castle, you've got this amazing display of over 400 species of insects, mammals, and birds from everywhere in the world. All animals were donated by various government agencies, wildlife rehabilitation centers, and captive breeding programs, as well as zoos. Some of the exhibits are over a hundred years old. Just a really big, beautiful place that people of all ages will be captivated by. Oh, and it's indoors, so you can enjoy it year round, especially when you're trying to escape the heat in the summertime. Number seven, Pima Air and Space Museum. For those of you who don't know, Tucson is home to the Davis Monthan Air Force Military Base, and we Tucsonans love our airplanes and aviation. We even have air shows to prove it. The Pima Air and Space Museum is one of the largest non-government funded aviation and space museums in the world and features over 350 historic aircrafts and spans across 80 acres. There are currently six indoor exhibits or six hangars, three of which are dedicated to World War II. If you love airplanes, helicopters, rocket ships, or if you're just a history buff, Check out Tucson's Pima Air and Space Museum. You will not be disappointed. Number six, Flandreau Science Center and Planetarium. This is one of those places that schools visit on field trips, but all the parents say, I want to go too. It's located right on the University of Arizona campus, and it's got just a lot of cool stuff here. The main room when you first walk in is full of all types of science and planet-related images, educational information, and even interactive games. There's also a giant mineral museum that you could probably hang out in for like over an hour just walking around looking at all the beautiful pieces. But the main reason people go to this place is the Planetarium Theater. There are many shows to pick from, but whichever you choose, you lean back in the seats of the theater and gaze your eyes on the star show above you. Some shows are educational about planets and sky, and some are kid-friendly, some are just entertaining. This is the only planetarium in Southern Arizona, and the entire place is just really cool. If you're there after dark, don't forget to check out the 16-inch telescope with free viewing, where you can see Saturn's rings, the cloud belts of Jupiter, the Andromeda galaxy, and other amazing images in the sky. Number five, the Tucson Museum of Art and Historic Block. The TMA is an art museum and art education institution located in downtown Tucson and features some amazing works of art, including over 8,000 pieces of modern and contemporary art, Latin American art, Western and Native American art, and Asian art, all in the permanent collection. They also have several traveling exhibitions. Just as beautiful as the art inside it is the museum campus itself. The museum consists of 74,000 square feet of exhibition space on over four acres of city block, including the main museum and 19th century historic homes that had been restored for use as the museum galleries, pottery space, and restaurant. The museum's gorgeous campus is often even used for community and private events, such as weddings and other gatherings. If you love art, or if you're just a fan of a lovely indoor and outdoor setting in a beautiful downtown scene, 
you need to check out this fantastic Tucson Art Museum. Number four, the Children's Museum. The Tucson Children's Museum is located downtown. And I have to tell you, I used to go there all the time when my kids were little. It's really good for smaller children in particular. So many interactive games, play centers, crafts, and hands-on activities for those little growing brains. Every room is cooler and more exciting than the previous one. If your kids are hands-on and love to explore, you could be at this place all day. And as an added bonus, there's a smaller children's museum in Oro Valley that's a little more geared toward even younger kiddos. Of course, these places are great for birthday parties too. Number three, the Mini Time Museum of Miniatures. This place is pretty cool and a lot of people don't really even know about it. It's basically a museum with two different big sections full of miniatures. One of the rooms is more geared toward kids with an entire winter wonderland theme and a giant tree with fairies and kind of like toys on display in toy houses. The other part of the museum is a lot bigger and basically features almost like dollhouses from all over the world with all types of miniatures in them. The collection includes over 500 antique and contemporary dollhouses and room boxes. There are also special traveling exhibits of other miniatures all the time. It is a really interesting place and amazing to see the detail in some of these pieces. If you're interested in art in any way, especially antiques or dollhouses, you will definitely appreciate this museum. Number two, the Arizona State Museum. Arizona has a strong and proud history of Native American culture. And today there are 22 federally recognized tribes with reservation lands in the state of Arizona. The Arizona State Museum, operated by and located on the University of Arizona campus here in Tucson, strives to introduce the ancient Native American cultures of the region with amazing exhibits, tours, classes, and research. The Arizona State Museum is the oldest and largest anthropological research museum in the southwestern part of the United States, and the history taught at this museum dates back 13,000 years. The staff members at the museum have studied archaeological sites of early Native American tribes to learn about their dietary habits, arts, clothing, and lifestyles. This is a beautiful, informative, and historically very significant museum that everyone should visit at least once. Number one, the Arizona Sonora Desert Museum. I actually have an entire video just on this place, so check that one out after this one. But many sites have ranked the Arizona Sonoran Desert Museum time and time again as the number one attraction in Tucson and one of the top museums in the US. Make sure to visit when the weather is nice and bring water, hats, sunglasses, and maybe sunscreen, as much of the museum is outside walking trails and there isn't shade everywhere. The entire museum is focused on the plant and animal life that thrive in the Arizonan Sonoran Desert. Even the drive to the museum from town is beautiful. This place is perfect for people of all ages, especially those who don't mind walking in the sunshine and seeing some plants and creatures you don't see every day in a non-desert city. If there's a Tucson museum that you love and I left it off the list today, please throw it down in the comments below. Consider me as your Tucson real estate agent and please consider subscribing to this channel for more content about things to do and see in beautiful Tucson, Arizona. If you liked the contents of this video and learned a thing or two, don't forget to hit that like button on your way out the door. Really appreciate you guys hanging out with me today and I'll see you in the next video.